Thanks Please welcome our like Hello. warm intro. The mic is here. The mic is here, and this is for you. The clicker is here. Timer. All right, my timer, and could you? Please give the, the slides as well, put on the slides, because these are not mine, I guess. Okay, these are mine. Um, so let's get to know each other probably more closer. Um, raise your hand who are, who are investing in startups, VCs, angels, raise your hands here. Okay, I love you guys, I remember your faces. And now, raise your hand who are the founders of the startups. Okay, I love you even more, because we are in the same boat, right? And what about the others? Why did you come here? Any, like, what for? Say it again. For water, okay. For a good time, for a good time. Anyways, um, my name is Oleg, and a small story here that, f f 40, not 40, 57 days ago, I left Ukraine exactly eight hours before the war started. And me and my co-founder, eight hours, me and my co-founder, we left Ukraine on last commercial flight, having no clue that eight hours later, the same airport runway will be under heavy airstrikes. Just for you to imagine. And when the war started, I just promised myself that we're going to build the most kick-ass team in Europe and give people, make them feel proud because of who they work with, I mean other teammates in our startup, and secondly, give the best opportunities for them to grow. And this is what we're going to talk about today. But before that, before we'll, we'll start, I'll give you a short glimpse of who we are and basically what Gradual does. So Gradual is the sales training platform. My, I'm myself a sales guy. And Gradual is a sales training platform that helps companies to grow sales top performers. And we, this is the easiest and the fastest way to enable sales leaders with the, with the team growth by giving them the training automation and giving them the tools to analyze the performance of the sales guy so they can provide the personalized coaching. This is how it works. And as for now, we have 120 plus teams that are using Gradual. We've graduated from the hottest accelerator, sorry, the wise guys, the hottest accelerator in the Europe. And we managed to grow our team from four to 12 people since the last autumn. And we got plus new, two plus, uh, plus two new team members since the war started. And those who want to talk about our other our startup, I basically mean the VCs, angels here. We're gonna talk after the sessions in the network inside, uh, networking area. But for the others, you probably know that the two most important things for the startup is market, right? Who do we sell to? What is the amount of people we sell to? And how do we reach to the hearts of our customers? And secondly, this is the hiring. Interesting moment that this is who going to execute what I said before about the market, right? And regarding the hiring, you should get the best, as they say, as they all say, investors, people around the, the side of the community. You need to get the best breed people, the best fit for a company. And why it's so t difficult, I'd like to explain like in simple words about the hiring. So let's play a game here. This is Jennifer Lopez, right? And imagine you just bought a brand new, 30 years old Volkswagen Golf from 90s. And you just drive this Golf, the shiny new Golf from 90s, you, dri you drive it, and you see Jennifer, okay, this is not Jennifer, uh, there we go with the Jennifer Lopez, I just missed the slides. Anyways, um, and you just drive on the street, and you see Jennifer right there, and you just slowly stop, open up your window and say, Jen, let's go, let's go with the, on the ride with me. So what, what's gonna be her answer? Any options here? This is the question to you guys. What? Okay. This is your time to pretend you're Jennifer Lopez. Go, go ahead with your creativity. No answers? Go with this. Like, what she would say to you 
stopping on the brand new shiny golf and saying, hey, let's go with the ride, on the ride with me? No. No. Insurance. <laughs> Insurance, okay, got it. Any other options? She's, she's just struggling to answer you something, right? And why so? What is the guessing? Why she's struggling to answer it to you in this brand new shiny golf from 90s? Because it's a brand shiny golf from 90s. Okay. Very good pickup line, okay, good. Any other options? Girls, let's pretend. She doesn't know you. She doesn't know you, exactly, exactly. Any other options here? I think she will say, I never believed in love in first sight until I met you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a good one, that was a good one. But in fact, that's because she's dating Ben Affleck, right? So there is Ben Affleck, and there is you in this brand new shiny Volkswagen Golf from 90s. You feel the difference, right? And imagine now you are just uh, typing to somebody from, you have, we have user, come, we you type somebody to, uh, f to the HubSpot, to the senior people. Hey, we just raised one million round. We have a beautiful opportunity. Let, let us you join our leadership team, right? How many of messages, how much messages do they get of this type per, per day even? Like dozens of them. This is now how it works. Somebody from Poland just wrote to the person from London to join their leadership team. What's the idea? Ben Affleck, shiny brand new gold from Rites, right? And how to fix it, basically. And the answer here is in formula, is the core of formula of magnetic hiring is basically the pipeline. A couple of slides before, I missed the slide that we've managed, uh, we've managed to close three leadership positions. Our startup just managed to close three leadership positions. We hired the front-end lead from Data Robot, like almost the Decacoin. Then we hired the marketing team from the company that just raised the round of $20 million. And then we hired the sales lead from the company that almost a unicorn the US startup on the round C. And getting back to the hiring pipeline, so this is how you build up the list of the best few people for your company that already knows you, not like Jennifer with your golf, that already knows you, and they understand they are somehow interested to get in touch with your company and to work for your company. And this is the concept behind it, just like the sales pipeline, sales funnel, right? But it has its own stages. So the stage number one is the big idea. This is how, basically, when you meet with the people on the conference, you tell about your startup, you tell about your company, your needs, your plans, also the, the, the vision that you have, and you get somehow in touch. They do not understand that they, uh, you are looking for the, at some point in the future, they will be looking for the, uh, for the possible candidate who you are, right? But then comes the next step. This is the interested. When you really got in touch with person and you pitch, like right now in our, we are in the fundraising mode. Want to close the round and want to get a lot of people that gonna bring a hell lot of growth, right? And the point here is, should, is, is to get to one simple question. If I'll have the competitive offer for you, would you join me in the next six months, let's say? You should understand also the motivation of the person whether the B2B sales tech startup is something of her or his profile or not, whether she's looking for the self-actualization or not. Then my, my personal favorite one, the stage which, which is called wet the feet, when you try to interact with this person, this is kind of due diligence and hiring. So let's pretend that you have a leadership guy from HubSpot from London and you want to hire them to the Usercom, who don't, who don't understand Usercom is something like the competitor for the HubSpot. And uh, you interact with this person, you allow them to consult you, you bring them to the part-time work, you allow them to interact with the team. This is how you bring the due diligence and also for the person, whether I, I'm interested to go full-time work with this startup or now. And then comes the when they interact somehow with you and you feel they really love you, then comes the final stage, the signing process. When you get the candidate, you sign the contract and you wait for the exact dates when the candidate will uh, join your board, okay? This is how it works. This is the hiring pipeline. Secondly, you've seen two stages, the last one, what the fit and sign and how to get there. 
basically when you interact with the person, when you work with the person. There's the three core things. The first one is the vision. They should match, they should understand their own personal why to the personal why, to, to the why of the company. Is it matched or not? Secondly, these are values. And it's more or less, it's more or less understand, uh, understandable here that this is the links, uh, list of the things that you stand for and how do you act. And the third thing here is the great tool, which is called Maslow Hierarchy of Needs, where you can apply different segments on how you convert people to your company. So we have like the basic, basic parts, which is the psychological state and safety needs. This is what you not as the potential employer or a potential place where these beautiful candidate would work, you work with. Because this is like basic life needs. Then comes the love and belongings. You could belong to the community, you have the loved ones. This is what basically most of the jobs can provide because when you join some company, you just provide them some kind of community, right? Then there is the esteem. And this is where your startup is starting to get over other companies. What is the esteem? When you give them the space to be recognized and to act based on their skills, right? And question to you, would HubSpot, let's say a beautiful company, the competitor of the user com, would HubSpot give the self-esteem, not the, the esteem, to their senior people? Yes, no? Why so? Okay, if company will be slightly, uh, slightly sm smaller than HubSpot, probably they will because these are the senior people. They're doing. They're just. Uh, they get a lot of a lot of support from the management. They encourage the growth and and whatever. But the last point here is the stage of the self actualization, where the best fit is the early stage startup with the hyper growth. Why so? Because basically when you involve a guy who should join your leadership team to build something from zero, completely from, from zero, they have nothing. And imagine they're just becoming the CEOs of their own direction. This is the self-actualization. Would HubSpot or any smaller company somehow give them the chance to be self-actualized as they most likely to be in, the, in their life? Probably not, because HubSpot has the framework of what should person do, because this is the company from, not from scratch. So this is the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. And I have two minutes left, and what I wanted to say, when you definitely worked with the hiring pipeline, when you definitely worked, with the values, with the vision that you transmit to the person that is about to join your team. And when you work with the, clearly work with the um, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, this is your time to shine. This is when you get the point and you can get the Jennifer even with your shiny new goal from the 90s which is about to be 35 years old. So that's it for today. I mean about the magnetic hiring. We will go to the Q&A section and I'm waiting for the answers. Not the answers though, but the questions. Thanks. Any questions for Oleg? Any questions? Go get him. Yannick. <laughs> yeah. As always, as always, as always. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I bet. I bet that she would say no at first, but if she will be somehow like a close friend to you or you're somehow interacted with her before, that will be, uh, that will be, it might work out. But 
uh, when you're in shiny new golf from the 90s, you have to work a lot. And not getting here like in two weeks, but working months <laughs> of months and uh, thinking about the offer that you could make, you can pass to her in the next six months. And also showing how you work, what are the values, whether your values and your vision is matched with, the, with her vision, I basically. I see your point, and I know where you're coming from and what you're trying to get, but from my perspective is that, sorry guys, I will stand there so you can see me. Um, I don't understand the idea that, honestly, you always have to work hard. Doesn't matter what are you driving. You can drive a Ferrari, uh, or you can drive, uh, I don't know, whatever you want. It's always about the hard work and the first look that you're making. So yes. the first idea that you, I'm, I'm not kidding the presentation, so sorry for that, please don't take it like that. But uh, I was thinking that the competition, it's not competition, comparison, Jennifer Lopez to, uh, what's it called, to, uh, to golf, shiny, even from 90s. Uh, I'll put it in another way. You always have to work hard. That's my like, assumption to it. Thanks, okay? man. Thank you. Well, definitely love it. Thanks for the thanks for the suggestion. And uh, yeah, you should definitely work hard whenever you are in what car. Uh, what it doesn't matter what car you are driving. Go ahead. Oh, like I have the SaaS enabled marketplace, and I want to use your service. Uh, sell me that in two minutes. What's your elevator pitch for the gradual? Uh, I'm so sorry for this. You, before you said the elevator pitch from Gradual, uh, say it again about seven. Yeah, SaaS-enabled marketplace, doesn't matter what it does, but what, what Gradual does, actually. All right, cool, thanks for, the, thanks, for the, thanks for the question, one sec. All right, cool, so you have the SaaS-enablement marketplace, right? That means that um, the more customers the more customers interact with your, with your uh, enablement marketplace, the bigger the LTV you get, right? And uh, the point here is in service. What you get and how do you deliver the values to stick with, with, uh, to, your, to your marketplace, to be your beloved customers. And the people that interact with customers are salespeople. So based on how salespeople could deliver the value, this is how you get the maximum result. And how can gradual helps you here that starting from the new first days of the newcomer, you'll give them the structured training so they will understand how to deliver the value to your client. And then you'll see what are the paths should you choose for the salesperson to uh, using their Considering their performance gaps and considering their growth zones, you'll give them the personalized coaching pass so they will understand how to work with the customer uh, in a better way. That's it. And if I can just do the follow-up question. So if I'm doing innovation, like uh, as every startup, right? So uh, when I want to sell innovation to marketers, to merchants, and you are about to help me, how are you going to get the data to make your personalization for my sales? How could, you, how could you be better than me as a founder? All right, cool. Um, look, th this is another topic that could be uh, discovered as well. But the point here that uh, we give you the data on how people work, their performance, the overview of their performance by analyzing the CRM that they use and the sales tools that they use as well. And then we suggest you, okay, for example, here's the Piotr, and here are the performance gap that Piotr has. And then you're able to uh, arrange with them um, the coaching sessions based on their previous performance. And you see how these coaching sessions, how do they impact on your growth numbers. So you just, we do not, we do not replace the human here. We just help you and consider gradual as the assistant, your training assistant where you see the data, you see the suggestions, and you, based on your internal thoughts, you decide how to follow on with the person. That's the answer. Okay, Cheers. thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks here. Uh, any other questions to Oleg? We had questions here. Yeah, we have questions here. Hey. Thank you Thank for you. the bit. Thank you for the speech. Um, uh, my question was about hiring the sales lead, as I remember, um, right. from VGS. Right. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, my question is uh, what was the recruitment funnel? How many people were there? Uh, how much time did it take to, from the beginning to the 
hiring of the sales lead and uh, also what it the US based team member right the, um, originally US mm -hmm. like this okay cool so um that's the girl, she, li she used to live in Kyiv, now she's right now in Krakow, so uh, you could meet uh, also at, at some point. We had three people in the pipeline, uh, and we had a clear task to build up the outbound sales. And I, she's very active on giving the courses, giving the professional materials on how to build the outbound sales, and I reached out to her about explaining, hey, um, we have the questions and we have the tasks, we have the goals to build up the outbound sales on the Western markets, the UK, the US, and Europe as well. And it took, she started with the part-time. She was able like, to give her time for us at that moment. And it took about one and a half months, starting from the first message to the first days of work. And basically we had four calls with her, um, starting with the explaining what's the idea, what tasks and goals. This is what I said before about the uh, wet, in the wet in the feet here, that you basically do the due diligence with her and the vice versa. And then a couple of calls about the company, the vision, uh, the values that we carry on, because I, at that time I wanted to hire her for the full time. That's it. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Any other questions uh, to Oleg? Go get it. Okay, if not, uh, thank you once again uh, for this amazing experience. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for it. And, and basically, one, one more thing to be at here at this stage, that when the voice started, as I, as I began this speech, that I get some kind of more understandings what should be the actions and what should be the motivation. Because it doesn't matter whether you sell, whether you are a marketer or whether you hire people or you get like messages from the people that your, your startup won't last any longer or you won't get it, you're boring, you're not promising. As they said, like your army would last for three days to the second biggest competitor in the world, right? And at this point, my point here, my message here that we should act like Ukraine acts right now. We should be motivated enough, trust our people, get the support that we need it, and we'll definitely make it. No matter how, no matter how hard it is. Thanks for this, and I'd like to say a tremendous thanks for the support of Polish people. This is the message from the bottom of my heart, because this is a super valuable point for me. Secondly, I'd like you to give some noise to the organizers of this event, Piotr. Thanks. And, and Thomas. I love you guys. Thanks for this beautiful opportunity. And also enjoy this evening because beautiful Ukrainian startups, I'm proud to share the same stage with them. Beautiful Ukrainian founders will speak today and share their stories with you. Thanks for it. Enjoy. Thank you once again.